with the old songs you say um, the the lyrics get more mature on this one, on this album? Mm -hmm. Definitely. I think um, you know, overall this is just a more kind of I hate saying it's a more mature record because I sound like a twat but <laughs> I think it is, yeah, I think we've all kind of all five of us have got be better at playing our instruments and have more ideas you know, about the songs and we're all kind of able to bring our own influences into things without sort of being afraid to do that. Um, so I just think it works really well as an album as a, as a whole. Yeah, and, and are your songs, uh, do you think, very different from Dorian's? Um, I think Lyrically Century is, is very different because I wrote that as more of a kind of abstract po like poetical collage. It was supposed to be um, just to conjure up images in people's minds rather than tell a, a narrative tale. Yeah. Um, so it is quite quite a different way of writing. But yeah. I, I started that, doing that when we did, a, we did a song for the Tate Modern called The, the Unbearable Lightness of Buildings, which is, had to be inspired by a piece of artwork. And um, I wrote that inspired by this thing by um, Hannes Canellis called Untitled 2, which is it's basically a, line, a pencil line drawing of a, an industrial scene. But it kind of set other images kind of rolling in my mind, so I wanted to write, you know, just just hints at those. Um, also, part of this image had been erased on purpose, so it felt like, you know, it was just a trace of a drawing. So I wanted to do the same with a lyric, um, just to okay. kind of trace an idea. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, yeah, and um, would we say, uh, uh, you're, you're kind of, some kind of role model for young kids, but you were also like uh, in, in uh, like a bit fashion cool. So, uh, is it <laughs> fashion cool? Yeah. yeah. Is it, uh, do you like that? I like fashion cool. Yeah, yeah. Like brilliant. <laughs> because you were in, in a list of uh, enemies, cool as they they call. Oh, it? not this year, no. Not this no, year. No, no, no. You dropped out. Not, not cool anymore. I was really cool last year. <laughs> I was number seven, which is way cool. Um, but then now, you know, at least 50 people in the world. Yeah. The singer from Falls is colder than, uh, you know, that's. I don't know what to do. I don't want to do with myself. Okay. <laughs> but uh, I read you also before the band, you worked in a, a vintage clothing store? Yeah, I really I miss that because I don't get any freebies anymore. <laughs> okay. So, what, what did you do exactly? Um, I put Barbers, Burberries, and Bell Staffs, which is hard to say, on eBay for a vast commission and sell them to the Japanese. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was my job. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the best job in the world. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Um, oh, yeah, and another thing on the album, there's some film dialogues in some songs. Is it from one particular movie or? No, they're kind of um, from various different things. Some of some are from films, some are from documentaries, some are from radio shows, like old radio shows in England. They're all kind of um, quite specific. You know, it's not like quoting a, a really famous film on there or something. It's all kind of very much um, British sort of entertainment from the 60s and 70s. Like Terry, Wil I don't know if you know any of these people, like Terry Wogan, who's Terry quite, Wogan. yeah, um, and um, Peter Sellers and people like that. Um, yeah, the reason we did that was, was because you know we wanted the album to, to be very sort of self-contained. We think it works really well as an album. Yeah. You know, I can't without kind of picking any singles off it or anything. I think you can listen to all ten tracks together and it sounds really kind of together and that I think that just helps that just helps us do that by linking, linking the songs a little bit and kind of creating something outside just the music it isn't just 10 songs in a row it's, it's yeah. an actual album yeah. 